Okay, well the last two days we have had a lot of fun running around the Ithaca area and being successful on the waterfall challenge. And now we're on our way to the Catskills just to, you know, explore, see what's there. And we had waterfalls yesterday. Well, there's nothing but water falling in the sky today. It's been pouring since about one o'clock this morning. It has been just down pouring and it hasn't stopped. So we'll see if we actually see some sunshine or whether it's gonna be cloudy and dreary all day today. I'll show you what the view looks like though. Okay, this is what it's looking like. We are on Route 17 right now. Or Interstate 86, you can take your pick. No, we don't quite know what we're really on. But anyway, um, we're outside of Binghamton. Yeah. On the way towards Roscoe, New York, and Livingston Manor. And for those of you that need a little trivia, Livingston Manor is the home of fly fishing. So we will check all it out and see what we can come up with and maybe it'll stop raining so we can see some of the beautiful colors that are Hello, starting to come out. Man. Okay it is continuing to rain hard so we are on our way to find the beaver kill covered bridge and from what I've been able to read there are approximately five covered bridges in this area that we should be able to get to and investigate. Some of them which you can actually drive across and this is one of those. Hey, we've got some turkeys over there. Even they're trying to stay out of the rain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get out. That is not the covered bridge. That's a one lane bridge, though. percent wooden structure except for a few I mean there's no there's no metal beams coming across here no. it's all 100% wood and yes as you can tell we are underneath the bridge and it is raining like crazy <laughs> Todd just saw a trout jump in the air and he's investigating because he's thinking he just might have 
きるって。This is Livingston Manor Covered Bridge. It's built in 1860. And there's Todd in the truck. He's trying to get his fishing license to download on his phone. We're in a little trouble out here with no signal. So yes, Todd is now standing in the water and he said the water is absolutely <laughs> freezing That his feet are now numb. Ah, the sun is coming out. Nothing better than to sit here on the side watching Todd fish and just enjoying a little bit of warmth. Downsville Covered Bridge, built in 1854. And by the way, we can't go across because it says passenger cars only, nothing in tow, no vans, SUVs, or pickup trucks. So that means Todd and I just have to walk across it so we can see what it looks like. And as you can see, the sun has come out and it's warming up and Todd's singing to us. Wow, it's a lot of wood. This is the Neversink Reservoir. The Neversink Reservoir was created in 1953 because New York needed more water. So what they did was they dammed up the Neversink River and flooded two towns, one called Neversink and the other one called Bittersweet. But you can imagine, the town of Neversink is down under there somewhere at 2,000 residents, bowling alley, casino, and now it no longer exists. Oh, wait. It is called Neversink, 
So what they did was they moved the town about four miles down away from here, and there is still a Never Sink, New York. So we're gonna go there next, bye. This is another one of the covered bridges and it looks like it's in really, really good shape even though it's not used at all. Totally blocked off. It's only got three padlocks on it so I think <laughs> it's trying to give you a hit not to go in there. Quite the structure though. Okay, so what an amazing day. Started off in an absolute monsoon. I don't know how many inches of rain we've gotten, but let's, let us just say it was an awful lot of rain. To where it was cold, probably around, oh, I don't know, 52 degrees. Now the sun has come out nice and shiny. It's about 63 degrees, but the winds have pillowed picked up to gale force and my amazing husband is now in charge of driving us back home to Again. the campground and yes he does most of the driving and I just navigate what can I say but I do manage to get us lost quite frequently because I don't pay attention it happens it, yeah okay he's being nice to me right now so let me show you what it looks like outside and this is what it looks like. And by the way, in another 40 miles, we are going to be going by the summer resort in the Catskills where the Netflix special, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, came for her Catskill vacation that summer for a whole month. And just to give you an update, yes, it is once again, Okay, we just had three deer jump out in front of us as we're going to Scott's family resort. In the Catskills. In the Catskills. In the rain. Okay, so here's Scott's family in, and as you can see, it is definitely in disrepair. In 400 feet, at end of the road, turn left, on to CR 237, a Piglet Road. There's no way these buildings were used for any of that. No. Okay, we're thinking that these houses here were part of the resort, and that could have been where they filmed. Okay, that was just a little depressing. First of all, we couldn't officially say that the place we found was Scott's family resort. However, the Garmin took us to the same spot twice. The Garmin took us there, Google took us there, the buildings are there, but there's no golf course, tennis courts, uh, a lot of the buildings, it looked like things were tore down. I don't know what happened in the last four years, but we're gonna have to do a little research. So we will get back to you on what we find. Okay, the research shows that the bright yellow part here, that is the actual area of Scott's resort. And by the way, honey, how would you have to say I'm doing on navigation? If we want to get lost, never end up where we're supposed to go, you're doing great, hon. Perfect. <laughs> 